Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna do one reaction video of a song Rip Player Drip by Offset. Well, no, today I won't do this. Um, today we're gonna discuss a new topic, you know, that is trending nowadays in the real world. We're gonna discuss about blockchain and how it is written in Java. So, uh, I think you have heard uh, like what is blockchain and like you know uh, what is like Bitcoin and a lot of uh, all the like digital coins that uh, that has been trending nowadays. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna discuss a little bit about uh, blockchain technology and how we can write a simple blockchain, you know, on Java. So uh, uh, so first, uh, I'll show you my like uh, design that I'll be using uh, in this program. Um, so let me open my word or maybe pages okay so let's say um, so what a block will contain in blockchain so let's say we have a block that block will contain a previous uh, block you know pre previous uh, block and um, I mean uh, the block will contain the information of the previous block and also it will contain uh, like so let's say like a lot of transaction you know transactions so uh, with uh, with this simple concept you know I'm gonna write a blockchain which are like interconnected with each other so uh, uh, the previous block uh, let's say the first block will not have any uh, interconnection with the previous block uh, so we'll just point it as like you know zero uh, or like whatever uh, the null value um, and uh, in transactions, uh, let's say we'll have a different uh, uh, category inside the transactions. Uh, let's say we have a ID field. We might have a, like a source from which it is chained, and we also might have a destination, um, destination, and uh, like the total amount you know that we send. Okay, so pre pretty much uh, this is the design that I'll be using in the program. So uh, for this, you know, I'm gonna uh, develop like three class. One will be like a block uh, chain itself, and another class will be block, and uh, last will be transaction. Okay. So um, uh, I think uh, it's uh, time to make our hands dirty. So let's just uh, dive into the code. <clears throat> so for this, uh, I'm gonna create one simple Java project. Uh, so let's go to other <coughs> Java Java project. Uh, let's name it as block chain. Okay. So let's to finish. Uh, do you want to change the perspective? No. So uh, as I told, I'll be creating a creating three classes. So one will be block chain itself. Oh my bad. Let's go to new class blockchain. So this will also have a public static void min method. And uh, we didn't create any packets. Oh, it's all right. So let's uh, make another um, class. So we will name this class as block. So this is good and one more class uh, which will which will we will state as transactions okay go to class and name it as T R E N S A C T I O N transaction all right so we created three classes one is blockchain one is block and one is the transaction class so let me start with the block class what it will contain uh, as i showed you earlier the block uh, will con uh, the block class will contain the previous block and it will also contain the transactions all right so i'll just define the memory variables previous block okay uh, i'll also define a list of transactions list of transaction control C and just name it as transaction okay 
so uh, I think we have to import uh, this yes we do uh, so this is imported so we're gonna create a uh, we're gonna generate like uh, getter and setter for these uh, fields so let's go to source and we will generate a constructor using fields okay so I, I don't think we need this super let me delete that and uh, let me just reformat this all right so um all right okay so we also need uh, the two getter and setter for these uh, memory variables let me go to the source and generate the getter and setter select all so now we have the getter and setter for this memory field let me rearrange this code one more time okay now it looks pretty good all right so uh so what we did we just uh, you know created like two memory variables one is the previous block and one is the transaction and just we created a constructor and uh the getter and the setter so now we'll go to the transaction so uh let's say the transaction will have a id field okay uh it will also have let's say string source and uh, let's say it will have a destination field all right uh, and let's uh, name like uh, let's give like one field as value okay uh, actually this can be t okay just leave this you know we are not uh, dealing with the syntax uh, like we are not dealing with the you know uh, what do you call uh, the syntax uh, we just we are just going to show like how blockchain uh, works okay so for this also we are going to generate the getter and setter uh, so let's go to source generate let me first generate the constructor all right uh, let's rearrange this to control X all right and let's let me get the getter and setter for this too all right getter and setter okay select all okay and let me rearrange this so that we will have a better look Okay, let me take this up. So what we did here is we just created like uh, some uh, field uh, consisting of ID, source, destination, and value, uh, and just created some like getter and setter. Now we'll go to the main class, uh, and uh, we're gonna you know uh, some uh, hard code some like transactions here. So let's uh, say we have we'll have like three or four transactions. And we will put uh, those uh, transaction in a block. Uh, so uh, let me create an object of this transaction. Let's say first transaction will be tr1, okay? Equals to new transaction. So first field is the ID so I'll give like any like, random value and let's say the source uh, let's say from uh, mobile okay and let's say the destination destination will be uh, I think uh, uh, everybody knows about the app called coinbase so I'll just write like coinbase here and let's say the value is like two grand you know uh, okay so we just created the first transaction let me create like you know three or four transactions like this 
second transaction we will name it as tr2 id will just give like a random id from let's say from wave to let's say there is a software called zdx we'll just write zdx and the value will be like three thousand dollar here all right uh, the third transaction will be <coughs> of like similar nature tr3 uh, let's say the id is 88 from uh, let's say mobile to let's say in person okay um, and let's say it, it is 30 grand you know we are increasing the money ha. control C let me get the fourth uh, transaction alright and let's uh, you know let's uh, put this uh, two transactions same you know so that we will check the hash code later whether we will have a different hash code or uh, different uh, or the same hash code so now I'll be cre cre uh, creating like some blocks so we have a block class right uh, yeah so oh uh, yeah we can uh, pass the arrays dot as list yeah so I will pass the, the two transaction here tr1 so the first block will contain information about the two transaction tr1 common tr2 <coughs> okay um so i'm gonna generate like two or three block like block like this so second block will contain block two so here uh, the main thing is here you know since a blockchain they are like interconnected like uh, you know chain like system right so uh, block two will contain the, the information about uh, block one how so how is the question so um uh, generally people use like you know various like hashing, uh, hashing uh, algorithm but uh, for just for simplicity we are gonna use uh, the hash code we're gonna generate the hash code of the first uh, first block and link it to the second block okay so we can generate the hash code by simply giving a hash uh, like this you know we can just call a hash code from the um object that we have from block one so block one and two they are interconnected so similarly let's say we have a third transaction a third block will contain two transactions tr3 and tr4 so let's see i'm gonna copy paste this and i'm gonna put it like this uh block three and it will contain uh the hash code of uh, previous block so um uh, block 3 is containing the hash code of block 2 so in this way like let's say block 1 2 3 they are now interconnected you know so i'm gonna pass transaction 2 and transaction 3 here so just to like uh, check uh, you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna do a sys out and uh, I'm gonna check uh, the hash code, you know, blk1 dot, what's the hash code? And I'm gonna do the same for all the two also. So this should, uh, uh, you know this would uh, so like three has code with a different uh, different number you know di different has code number so let's check it out run as our application so this first one is for block one second is for block two and third is for block three with the different has code so let's say we have you know two transactions are similar so what will be the uh, hash code uh, the uh, uh, if the transaction are similar then the hash code also should be similar right so just for simplicity i'm gonna make it as control c and give it you know like tr5 okay so this is similar right so we have same uh, just take this two 
uh, transaction TR4 and TR5. So they have uh, the similar property, right? Yeah. 